can access the, the last captured images there. You go directly into the camera roll there. And you can use the slide zoom um, there as well. Uh, you release that and then it zooms in. Apologies for the, uh, the subject matter in the background. And there's touch auto focus there as well. Um, we've changed the, the sounds as well, so they're less intrusive. Um, we've done a, a lot of detail work. And if, yeah, please, please. Yeah, if we now change to scene modes, then I can sort of now go up the involvement level. Mm. So how involved do I want to be in the process? And now I can select from these scene modes and do the same experience. You can see the additional control that resides down there. Set a close-up, portrait, sports, night, uh, night portrait. And there's this uh, two additional scene modes, one for which is optimized for shooting sort of in concerts, uh, where you have strong side lighting, and one also for shooting in sort of snow conditions. You can see it optimizes the exposure there accordingly. And then if we go into creative mode, um, then this is where it gets really powerful. So we have an additional range of controls that are now available. The way we've designed the UI is that the controls that you need most often are placed on the right, and then the controls that you are going to use on a sort of next level of frequency on the left-hand side, and then the controls that you use only every now and then are, are, are activated via this control at the top. So now we've got additional controls for exposure compensation, we have additional uh, level of uh, accuracy uh, of exposure compensation, plus or minus 4 EV in 3rd EV increments. You can see there's a, a new histogram capability there. Uh, white balance modes um, are accessible there. Um, and we also have the ISO control um, available. Okay. Um, and finally, we have this new uh, neutral density control. So I should be doing it from that. my right thumb. That's how we optimize the touch. Um, and here we have uh, controls to turn the ND filter on and off. Um, so this allows you to extend the, the range of the shutter speeds over and above what you'd get in the automatic settings. So if you want to use a, deliberately use a slower shutter speed, then you can enable the ND filter. That would be, uh, bring the light levels down that's reaching the sensor and automatically it will use a slower shutter speed. For example, if you want to get a motion effect of a waterfall or something like that. And that's the, that's the new one. Oh, there's one new feature as well I forgot to mention. If you do a long touch on here, you bring up additional focus modes, um, which optimize the autofocus system according to infinity, hyperfocal, close-up, and automatically being the default. Um, and then the video mode, it shoots at 1080p? 1080p. Uh, so if we switch to 1080p, um, here we go. 30 frames a second? 30 frames per second. There's, uh, in creative mode, you've got controls for additional frame rates uh, if you want. Uh, we've got a lot of requests for people to support 25 and 25 frames per second. We put those in um, there. Uh, if we go back to stills, um, to go through some of the settings that we have available there. Um, so the default setting is, we recommend is using this what we call this pure view mode. Uh, this is where the sensor is doing all the oversampling. Um, using our uh, Nokia algorithms to get the very best out of that 41 megapixel sensor in a way that really makes makes a lot of sense to you. Um, however, you can also switch this full resolution mode, and now you.